Hey guys, I'm Amber. Welcome to my Scentsy haul. This is the first of the brand new catalog season. So every twice a year, Scentsy changes from uh, fall, winter to spring, summer, or vice versa. And it, the new spring, summer catalog launched on March 1st. I placed my order at midnight on March 1st. Um, so I'm so excited that everything came in and I'm, can't wait to show you guys. So, uh, first of all, I took everything out of the box and it just makes it easier. So I got in a bunch of, um, scent circles in the scent of the month this month, which is called strawberry lemon cake. Super excited to smell this one. I did get it in a wax bar as well. Um, so I'm excited. So let's, let's see. So let's see. We'll do, okay. Yeah, I got the cleaning bundle, which does not come with this soap anymore. Um, if you saw my last video, I had a haul of just soap because it was retiring um, from the regular catalog on March 1st. So I got uh, quite a few to tide me over until the next limited time release of dish soap. Um, so anyway, I got this scent. This is the brand new to this catalog scent. And I got the cleaning bundle, which comes with a all-purpose cleaner now instead of the dish soap, a bathroom cleaner, and the counter clean. And I got the brand new scent of Daydream Oasis. So the notes for, for this one was Sweet Melon. I, I forgot. I just read it because I just did that other video. Um, let's see. Sweet Melon, Pear Leaf, and Water Lily. So it's a very fresh, sweet, clean scent along the lines of aloe water and cucumber. So I got it with the counter clean. It came with the... Um, bathroom cleaner and then now in the um, like I said cleaning bundle it comes with all-purpose cleaner instead of dish soap so I'm not sure how often I'm going to get the this cleaning bundle because the all-purpose cleaner which is fabulous I do love it I love using it um, to mop my floors especially um, but this lasts forever it's forever because you dilute it with water. So it lasts forever. Um, but I do love it. But as a, like a bundle, I'm going to, I'm going to end up with hundreds of, of the all-purpose cleaner. So I'll probably just do like the three pack of, um, like one individual thing. I think from what I remember, I don't, normally pay attention to those because it is the cleaning bundle that I, I normally get. But I think they do like three packs of like the counter clean, um, which is probably the way I'll go because I do go through that the quickest. Well, no, actually the quickest is the bathroom cleaner. Um, but I prefer the counter clean anyway. So I'll probably do that. But let me smell this scent for you. I normally don't like melon so the melon in it I think is a like a honeydew which I don't mind yeah that is really pretty I know from the wax um that I that I did really enjoy it in the wax it's just um not super strong but it is a good scent so I think it'll be wonderful in the cleaning products so that is the all-purpose cleaner and then next I will do the wax and then I will end with the warmers that I did pick up this time. Um, so I got two six packs, which is with bundle and save, which you can find in spe under specials on my website. That will be down in the description for you. Um, it's the best way to get a deal on the wax and a lot of the other things come in six bar, six pack bundles because it ends up being buy five, get one free that way. So go to specials and then go to bundle and save and you'll see them. So I did two six pack bundles so I could get the 10 brand new um, fragrances plus two bars of other things for free. So um, let me, I'll just jump into it. I got Mountain Sunset and this one is Wild Bluebell and Warm Woods 
as coconut, uh, coconut and golden amber. Sorry, I'm not going to read the full description. I've heard this one's good, and this one is nice. I have smelled the testers before, um, just not the full bars yet. This does, a lot of people have mentioned that it kind of reminds them of Coastal Sunset. I agree, but um, like more perfumey, like a feminine version of Coastal Sunset. And I have to say, I love the color. Periwinkle is my favorite color. So that smells like it'll be good. So we'll see. Next one I have here is Soak and Rays, which is Mandarin Orange Flower and ocean air. Not a huge fan of orange flower if they're meaning like neroli, which usually that means neroli. Oh yes, this is very floral. This is for those of you that were sad about Lush Gardenia <laughs> being taken out of the catalog. This is like the replacement. It doesn't smell like gardenia necessarily. It smells more like a, like a very, strong floral soap to me is what it smells like uh, like a, a beachy sunscreeny type of soap so i'm not sure if i'm gonna end up liking that we'll see okay next one is mango matcha and this one is mango nectar uh matcha sorbet sorbet salted cucumber and pure sugar cane course it's a mango-y color oh this is nice yeah it does kind of have like a like a sorbet quality to it I prefer the mango in this to like go go mango this is really nice tropical and fruity mm, yeah that one's nice so that's mango matcha Okay, this is not the part of the 10 new, but this is the, like I said, scent of the month for March, strawberry lemon cake, pink, of course. Yes. Yep, it smells like strawberry pound cake. Very tiny touch of lemon. The lemon isn't very strong on cold anyway. It smells really good. Yeah, that's nice. So that is strawberry lemon cake. That may be a contender for club, we'll see. Then we have raspberry hibiscus tea. This is brand new to the catalog. It is wild raspberry hibiscus petals and elderberry sugar, right? Yeah, sugar. Oh yeah. Some people mentioned it smells similar to lemon thyme berry which is a retired scent. And I totally get that vibe. I do. It's not exactly like lemon thyme berry, but it is very, very similar on cold end, at least. That's really nice. I like that. I was wondering how close to, um, my mind just went blank. Winterberry apple tea, like how close to that it would be if it would be like a spring summer version of that um I wouldn't say it's close to it it's good but like I said it's more like lemon thyme berry so that is raspberry hibiscus tea I'm not really smelling hibiscus in that but I'm getting the raspberry and I'm getting that elderberry note too okay this is not brand new to the, it's brand new to the catalog but not brand new to us it is Star Apple and Freesia. I knew I didn't have any more of these and I did want one, one more. This came out in the, I think the Island Days collection last year. This is Star Apple Tropical Mango garnished with pink Freesia. And from what I remember, it smells similar to me um, to Totally Mini. And yeah, I, I still kind of get Totally Mini vibes. Except in with totally mini, it's like um, hibiscus, which I prefer over freesia. But this is nice, sweet, tropically kind of floral. So very nice. 
I'm surprised I picked this one over some of the others that were in that collection, but it, it's a good one. Okay, next one. This is the controversial one, I know. This is, since you only put one new bakery scent in the new releases, this catalog, and this is it, but I heard it's not really bakery at all, and that is Sugar Blossom. It is, the notes are Golden Blossoms, sugared citrus and vanilla salmon pink yeah no i agree this is, this feels like it was miscategorized i was prepared for that because like i said i've heard other people say it wasn't so i'm not like super like bitter about it or anything but it would have been nice to have an actual like true bakery in the catalog at, that's a brand new scent but this is like a sweet sugary floral it's not really it's not what i would consider um edible in any way um so that sugared blossom okay next one is lake my day and this one is, let's see, Lake Waves, Crisp Bergamot, and Fresh Oak Moss. So when I see those notes, I'm like, ooh, it's going to be cologne-ish. Because bergamot can lead either cologne or perfumey. So if I see those notes, a lot of the time I know it probably will be. So let's see. And it's beautiful blue. It kind of matches my shirt. Yeah, it kind of has a cologne quality to it. It's like aquatic type of cologne, little citrusy. I kind of get like a lake vibe. This is going to sound really bad. And I'm sorry if you've melted this and love it. I'm not dissing that at all. But it almost has like a, you know how lake water can... You have that like dirty smell to it sometimes um, or very like mineral rock smell, but dirty, dirty. It sounds so bad. That is kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. It could totally change when it's melting, but on cold, that's kind of what I'm getting. And again, that's just my nose. That doesn't mean that you can't like the scent or there's anything wrong with you if you like the scent. And I might, I might end up liking it. So we'll see. Dirty water cologne <laughs> to me on cold. <laughs> so that's like my day. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure that one will improve for me once I do melt it. The next one I have is Tropical Nectar. And this one I did um, get in the Whiff Box, which actually Raspberry Hibiscus Tea I did as well. I had forgotten. Um, but this one is Tropical Fruit Nectar, Coconut Milk, and Golden Agave. So I have smelled this in a big one before, and this is nice to me. It's fruit punchy, but it's uh, elevated because it's almost like fruit punch mixed with um, like a pina colada scent. Because I do get that coconut and a little more like tropical fruit vibes. I like this one. That one's really nice. So that is... Tropical Nectar. Okay, next one we have is Woodland Meadow. And this one is Woodland Wildflowers, Forest Canopy, Bergamot, and Amber. Bergamot again. We'll see how cologne-ish or perfumey it is. Okay, this is cologne-ish too, but it is more of a woodsy, cologne -ness rather than the aquatic cologne-ness to it that like my day has. It's not bad. I'm sure it could be good. So that is, it kind of reminds me actually of, it was just in the Bring Back My Bar. What was that called? Woodland Suede? Woodland Suede, I think is what it was called. It, it, they're not the same scent, but it kind of think along the same lines as that. And I liked Woodland Suede better. 
on cold anyway than this, but it, that's kind of the vibe that it's giving me. Okay, next one is banana leaf and bamboo. And this one is white peach, banana leaf, aged bamboo, and sheer mahogany. Green. And this is a fresh scent for sure. Um, kind of citrusy, but I do get like a um, earthy, earthy quality with that mahogany and the bamboo is prevalent for sure. There is a sweetness to it. I guess it's the peach. I'm not smelling it and saying, oh, I smell peach or anything like that. But we'll see. It is very, a very like green fresh scent. And then the last one from the new scents is the, what is it called? Peace Lily Be With You. And this one is white peace lily, green apple, watery greens, and vanilla. So another fresh. So the fresh scents dominated this catalog, catalog season as far as new scents go. Very fresh scent inspired and is white like a peace lily. This one's actually really pretty. This one is really pretty. It is, um, it does have that peace lily. Peace lily is different than like a tiger lily or regular lily. So it's not as like the regular lily, tiger lily can be a little too like peppery astringent to me, but this is softer. But it's still, you can still tell there's floral. And it's sweet. It's sweeter than banana leaf and bamboo. I really like this. This is nice. I'm not surprised though, because it has green apple and I'm an apple girl, as y'all know. So, so that one's very nice. So there's all the scents. And then let's get to the, um, I'll do the scent or the warmer of the month first. It is called Hoppy Easter. And this one, I was so excited when I saw it that I had to get it. I do decorate for um, pretty much every holiday. And so I had to add this to my Easter decor. It's so cute. It is an element warmer, which means it does not use a bulb. It uses a hot plate and the wattage, I think it's eight. Yeah, eight watts. So it's better for um, not super large spaces. Um, eight watt is about normal though, but usually for that, it's, it's better for medium to small spaces. Look how cute. She's so cute. I love Easter bunnies. I love the Easter bunnies. So as you see, there's no dish that comes out and there's no bulb that goes in. So it just has a warming plate under here and you just put your wax in and when you're done with it, you soak it up um, with a cotton ball or a cotton cleanup, that type of thing. And then Scentsy right there. And then well, you can tell it's on by this little indicator light. When it's lit up, you know that it's on. So it is ceramic, but it looks like it's, um, you know, like whittled wood. So cute, she's so cute, I love her, yes I do. So cute, so that is Hoppy Easter. Last I checked, she was still available for purchase. So, so cute. Okay, then the final warmer I got is brand new to this catalog. Um, I might end up getting more warmers, but for now, this is the only one I got from, that was brand new from the catalog. It is the Daydream Mini Warmer. I saw this, I think it was last year in um, Region 2 or Region 3, they had it, um, which is either the UK or um, Australia, New Zealand. And I was so jealous because I thought it was so pretty. I loved it from, from pictures. 
And so I was so excited when I saw that it was coming to our region. So I can't wait to show you guys. So this one is a glass warmer. So it comes with the glass base. And what's awesome about our mini warmers is no matter what direction your outlet faces, our plugs can adjust so that it is always upright. So it can even go all the way around. So if you have an upside down um, outlet, this will still work with it. So let me take out the bulb. Tell me what is your favorite warmer from the catalog. If you've had a chance to look, um, if you haven't, my website is in the description. You can browse there. Just look under wax and warmers and um, you can choose new warmers. Then you can see all the new ones. Um, tell me which one is your favorite. So I love this one, the Daydream. Uh, full sized. I really like the Flamingo. I don't know if I'd ever get it because I don't really decorate specifically for summer necessarily, but it is so cute. I love that one. I love the, um, dang, this does not want to come off. I love the, what is it? The one that is, um, that looks like a, like a nautical lantern. I can't remember what it's called, but I love that one. And I loved the, well, now I'm going to look. <laughs> oh, I love this one. It's a little tiny, so it's a mini one, but it holds full size. It holds four, but it's super petite and cute. It's called the Simply Diamond Warmer. That one is so cute, too. So those are some of the standouts for me. Um, so like I said, I'll probably end up getting more warmers. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But oh my gosh, you guys. So this will go in my downstairs powder room for the spring. Look at how pretty it is. And it does have like an iridescent sheen to it. If you can tell from the light reflecting on it. It's so pretty. So let us plug it in. And then we can see what it looks like lit up. Hopefully it'll show well. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. So let us light it up. And there we go. Oh, that's so pretty. So it's almost like a blush um, glow to it when it's lit. And you can tell, I you can kind of tell it seems um, lighter down below and then it gets a little bit, it fades a little bit light wise up here. And then the wax goes in the dish. Of course, it's not removable. Um, you would just have to soak it up. That's pretty. I love it. Oh, yay. That makes me happy. So that is the Daydream Warmer. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. All this stuff is still available. Last time I checked, like I said, the new, obviously the new stuff from the catalog is available since it just launched this month. Uh, the Hoppy Easter Warmer is still available last I checked, as well as the Strawberry Lemon Cake uh, Bar. So... Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate all you guys. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.